Hello students, in our session today we are going to discuss about what are matter. So you already know that anything that you see around yourself is a matter. But in terms of science we can define a matter as anything that occupies space and has mass. So, it is a very simple definition for matter that is anything that occupies space and has mass is known as a matter. So, let us now conduct a few activities to understand this in a much better way. For first activity, we will take a spring balance or spring weighing scale. Suppose this is the spring weighing scale that shows the weight of objects in grams and it has this small hook to which we can attach the object that we want to measure and suppose we attach a jar to this spring weighing scale and now we will put different objects into it and start by measuring them. First say we put 20 marbles into this jar and we will observe that the reading that was shown in the spring wing scale has increased and it shows some weight that is say its mass is 250 grams. So, we can say that marbles occupy space as we can see, we can hold them in our hand, we can put it in the container and it also has certain mass. So, these marbles are matter. Similarly, we will conduct another activity. Say we put some water into this container and again you will observe that it has certain mass. And it, can, and it can fill the container so you can see that it also occupies space. So, the liquid water is also a mass. But how can we verify the existence of air or measure it? For this we have some other activity. Let us conduct that activity and understand how we can consider air or gas as a matter. Suppose we take a scale, a longer one and we suspend it through a thread at the center and on one edge we will hang a deflated balloon and on the other end as well we will attach a similar kind of deflated balloon and you will observe that this scale is straight which means the mass of these both the deflated balloons is same. Now what we will do is we will take one of the deflated balloon fill it with air and hang it on the other side of the scale and now what you will observe you will observe that this scale tilts a little more towards the inflated balloon it will tilt on this side and from this you will observe that since this balloon is filled with air, so air has mass and it has occupied space as well. So, you can observe and say that air is also a matter. In this way, we have observed that anything which occupies space and has mass is known as matter and solids have mass, liquids have mass and gases also have mass and also the gases can occupy space. I hope that you have really understood the concept well and you can use it in your daily life as well that is what are matter and you have the better understanding of it through the activities.